Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you an Aldi haul. We do not have any Aldis near us. The closest one is actually two hours away, so we made a point to stop at one on our way back from a weekend trip away. And I am just excited to show you what all we got and how cheap everything was. I'm just gonna go through real quick and show you guys what we got. And then at the very end, I'll tell you how much we paid. These strawberries were an amazing deal. They were 99 cents a piece. And then I got a bag of potatoes, chocolate chip muffins our kids love, croissants I like to have with my coffee for breakfast, avocados, baby carrots, this nan bread or naan. Um, I'm gonna try, there's four pieces of it in there and I'm gonna try and make homemade pizzas with it, Italian seasoning and ranch seasoning, um, the nacho cheese chips like Doritos, three packs of macaroni and cheese, those were 33 cents each. Some Thousand Island because we were out, frozen broccoli, mandarin oranges, peaches, and then some white beans for white chicken chili just to have on hand. Their canned goods are very inexpensive there. Um, I'm pretty sure most of the stuff was quite a bit less than even Walmart. Some hash brown patties, we like to have those for breakfast. Cheesy bread, because we were out of town and now we're back, so we'll probably have that for dinner tonight. And popcorn chicken, I thought we'd give that a try. Caesar salad. Um, cheese toast and garlic bread, those were like a $1.50 or something a piece, which is cheaper than Walmart. Then I've got lots of cheese here that was cheap, provolone, Colby Jack, cheese cubes. Our kids just eat lots of cheese and we use lots of shredded cheese for uh, meals and casseroles and that type of thing. We needed some more butter and then I was really happy to see this ham steak because I look for it a lot of places and it's hard to find um, but that's really good the Italian sausage was 250 a pack so that was extremely affordable so I just loaded up on that and we'll put it in the freezer the sour cream and moo tubes it's like go -Gurt. My daughter loves these. We put them in the freezer. And that is bacon, bacon cheese breadsticks. So we'll probably have those tonight too. And then I couldn't resist trying this. It is thin crust macaroni and cheese pizza. Doesn't that look so yummy, you guys? So all together at Aldi, this whole haul was $100 even. That is insane, you guys. Actually, $92 minus the tax. So, I mean, if I were to go out and buy this most places, it would be $200 probably. So, that was a really, really good haul. Um, and I'm glad we made a stop while we were there. shot if you guys have any questions on individual prices of stuff just comment below and I'll try to let you guys know but they had some really good products there and I think we're gonna enjoy them a lot and since I got a lot of Italian sausage in this grocery haul I thought I would show you guys an easy crock pot meal. It's lasagna soup and it uses Italian sausage. It is so delicious. So I'm gonna share how I made that with you now. So I have my Italian sausage in there and I just added in some onion. The recipe calls for onion powder, but I was just feeling like putting some regular onion in there. So that's what I threw in. You can follow the recipe exactly or however you choose. Okay, so I'm just gonna add all of the first ingredients. Um, spaghetti sauce, beef broth, 
minced garlic parsley, basil, and Parmesan cheese, and we're gonna put those in the crock pot for two and a half hours on low, and then we'll add the final remaining, remaining ingredients, which is the lasagna noodles. Um, they just go in and they will cook in the broth of the soup with some water and milk and mozzarella cheese. two and a half hours, and then we'll add the remaining ingredients. All right, so I have the lasagna soup all done. I'm gonna serve it with this cheese bread we got at Aldi. Here's the lasagna soup, all done. I didn't get a chance to film it, but I just added the water and the milk and some mozzarella cheese, so We'll serve it and then add some Italian cheese on top and we have Caesar salad to go with it. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.